First up is Amanda Jane Hart from Potter's Bar in Hertfordshire. I feel I've had my psychic ability since the age of three. Um, I've been here many lifetimes before and have the ability to see other people in past lives as well as myself. And I feel I'm a very wise soul. Five husbands and five wives are taking part in a matchmaking challenge. Our psychics are hoping to use extrasensory perception to work out who is married to whom. Amanda Jane Hart is the penultimate contender. She also failed on the previous test. But she's the best so far in this test. She gets an impressive three out of five on a par with our professional matchmaker. Six cells, six men. But only one is a real ex-con. Simon Hayday, who has had 64 convictions for fraud, car theft and drug offences, has now turned his back on a life of crime. The question is, can our psychics use their extrasensory powers to pick him out? Amanda will now try and focus her psychic energies. The only rule, she cannot talk to any of the six men. It's not long before she believes she's feeling some powerful vibes. I just feel a bit unwell, a bit dizzy. <sighs> Interestingly, she's standing close to our reformed villain, Simon. This is Nigel Swan. He's a motoring journalist who's agreed to take part in a very unusual experiment in southeast London. He's going to select one car out of the 50 in this car park and hide in its boot. The last participant is 38-year-old Amanda Jane Hart from Hertfordshire. Perhaps more than anybody else, I've got a sense of confidence, the way she's sort of stroking Nigel's picture and just wandering around and... Strangely, I was almost willing her to do it myself. If you ask all of them, this is the one? Yes. Let me just check the boot for you. Amanda. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Hi. I can't explain what it was. I was just guided to this particular car, which didn't fit the description that I'd put in my mind of the car. And I asked if there was somebody in the car, and my body suggests. So I trusted my own gut instinct. Hi, Amanda. Welcome to the challenge. Was it a younger brother? It was indeed a younger brother. When you said the younger brother, Amanda, did you get a, a sense of that, or was it a picture? And if it was a picture, mm. can you describe what perhaps...? No, I just sensed that it was a younger right. brother. Um, he seemed slimmer and taller. That is true. Um, I thought Amanda got got close, particularly to begin with. Um, I thought it was very interesting she was talking about um, sort of rigging and possibly a boat. And to me, that, I associated that with the, the rigging of a, of a biplane. Now, while we were conducting the test earlier, we gave our psychics another quick challenge. Hello. Unknown to them, in 1976, Mick Jagger slept in this room before a Rolling Stones concert. He left something behind which we've sealed in an envelope. So, can they tell us the owner? It feels like a personal item. It is a personal item. Something that a man would wear, sort of like underwear. There are two contestants to go. Hi, everyone. Almost immediately, Amanda Jane Hart is also drawn to Debbie. Then an extraordinary moment that takes everybody by surprise. I just feel now I'm short of breath. I feel my heart racing, blood pressure change, blood rush into my head. 
I just want to, because I'm picking up a lot <laughs> of their energy. Um, okay, I'm going to give one to this lady and one to this lady here. Well, I mean, she's been picked so often now. I'm just wondering if there's something she hasn't told her husband yet. <laughs> My heart started racing when you came over to me. Really, mine's yeah. pounding, absolutely, it was absolutely pounding. pounding. Yeah, there's, a, there's obviously an end there. <coughs> I, it was like I couldn't breathe. Yeah, I'm, that's how, exactly how and I'm feeling. I felt very hot. Yeah, that's how I feel now. I, I, every time I go over to you, there's something <laughs> happening. So. Mm, does somebody want that? <laughs> 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 I don't want it. Nine years ago, Jo Markham lost her 23-year-old son, Andrew, in a tragic road accident. He was hit by a car and killed just 200 yards from his home after a night out. They begin at a spot halfway between where he died and his home. Morning, Amanda. As ever, Philip now outlines the challenge to Amanda Jane Hart. Confronted simply by the envelope, Amanda fails to make a connection. But then she's allowed to see Andrew's photo and given his watch. And almost at once, she makes her move. It's a crucial moment. So far, Amanda's got none of this week's tests right, so badly needs a result here to avoid being voted off by the jury. Led by what she calls her spirit guides, Amanda draws ever closer to the house Andrew shared with his mother. <coughs> Yeah, I'm picking up a lot of energy from here now. I feel like this young man's no longer here. Mm -hmm. I just see this happy connection with this other person, this lady. I feel he was your son. Yeah, he was. Then a dramatic moment. I see lots of lights around you all the time. I know you work with angels. Very much so huge orbs all the time. That's what I got straight away with you. I see lots of angelics. I've, uh, I've got a lot of, uh, sort of beliefs in yeah. angels. Yeah. Yeah. Joe's house is full of angels. I feel that I've achieved much this week, regardless of whether I go today or not. I've done, I've done great. Finally, it's Amanda Jane Hart. And within minutes, she begins to sense a powerful presence. I feel I'm looking at someone in a uniform. It's like a military uniform. Amanda describes in detail an American serviceman who survived the war and whose up. presence she can now sense in the room. And I feel, yeah, I feel it's either here, there's a strong presence. I can feel big energy now. For Clive, who became close friends with Colonel James Harlow in later life, it's an emotional moment. He feels striking. He feels handsome. But there's more. In a dramatic twist, Amanda begins to describe a wartime air crash, a crash which sounds remarkably like the one in which James's brother was killed. I can see juddering, like something's about to crash. And I just see an aircraft going into the ground. And there's the trees. For Clive, the emotion is too much to bear. But there's one final extraordinary moment. Amanda, would you like to take off the blindfold? Oh, gosh. You're the man. something to do with a brother. Hmm. Not my brother, his brother. Yeah, I feel there's a brother here, something to do with a brother. Anybody watching this, 
I understand people are skeptic, but you have to put yourself in this position in order to verify it. And I don't need any further proof anymore because that was a, a textbook factual account of what I knew to be correct. The energy was it, it's so powerful, but I could feel I was working on a soul level. This was something to do with soulmates. It was really, really striking, very, very powerful. Um, and I felt a big presence in the room as well. But when the blindfold was lifted and I saw this man in front of me, I could feel, you know, it was just amazing because he was, you know, that was the image. And she looked at me and she went, it's you. <laughs> it's uncanny.